Let's display the entries that we have stored in this entries table on Superbase on our main entries page in Moneyballs. And if we jump back to our code, and if we jump to source, config, and superbase.js, we created this config file for Superbase before, which is going to pass our Superbase URL and our Superbase API key to this create client method and assign that to this Superbase constant, which we're exporting. And we can use this Superbase constant for all of our Superbase operations, whether that's manipulating or reading from the database or handling authentication or handling storage. So let's import this constant into our entry store. So let's jump back to storeentries.js and in our list of imports here, let's import superbase from source slash config slash superbase. And to make sure this is working, let's just log out this superbase constant in our load entries action. So we'll scroll down to the actions, uh, this load entries action. And instead of logging out this text, let's just log out superbase and save that. Uh, let's open up the console and reload the page. And um, we can see this Superbase client object being logged out with a bunch of different properties and methods and stuff. So this seems to be working. Help me out with a quick like, comment, share, or subscribe. So how can we actually grab these entries from our entries table and display them on the page? Well, thankfully the documentation for Superbase is really good. So let's jump back to Superbase. And if we go on the left here and open this API docs, I'm going to open that in another tab. And if we jump to that, we have a bunch of documentation and code examples, which are tailored to our database. So you can see under tables and views, we have this entries option, and this is going to be based on our entries table. So let's click on that. And we can see a bunch of different code examples ready to copy and paste into our app. And what we want to do right now is read rows. And we want to read all of the rows that are in this entries table. So let's copy this code example here under read all rows. Uh, let's jump back to this load entries action. and uh, just paste this example in. Uh, I'll just fix the indentation. And uh, what's this doing here? Well, it's using the Superbase constant, which we imported here, which has our Superbase client. And it's going to use this from method to grab from the entries table. And it's going to select all rows in that table, which is what this asterisk means. And this is going to return data if it manages to get data from this query, or it's going to return an error. And it's currently using entries as a placeholder for this data property. And we already have a ref called entries in our state here, which would make this clash. So let's just get rid of this entries placeholder and just change this to data. Uh, because we're using await, we need to make this load entries action async. So we can just put async here to do that. Uh, assuming this query is successful, we should have a data property. So let's just log this out. I'll log out data and save that. Jump back to Moneyballs and reload the page. And we can see this data being logged out. And this is an array with two items for the two rows in our entries table, salary and rent. And this is already in a format that we can use because if we jump back up to our state section, this is exactly how we're storing these entries in this entries ref. So this is also just an array of objects. And each one has an ID property, a name, an amount property, and a paid property, which is exactly what we have being logged out here. So all we need to do is just assign this data array to this entries ref in our state, and we should see these entries on the page. So let's jump back down to the load entries action and underneath this query, let's just make sure there is some data. So we can just do if data, then we want to assign data to our entries ref, which will be our entries.value. So we can just do if data entries.value equals data. So let's save that and reload the page. Uh, we can now see the entries from our entries table on Superbase displayed on the page in Moneyballs. Get the full course, including authentication, role level security and policies, database functions and triggers, storage, edge functions, and running Superbase locally from makeappsacademy.com or click the link in the description.